is it permissible to ask something to Allah during sajda in salah in my own mother tongue? As far as asking something in sajda is concerned, the first part of the question, the hadith of beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu which is mentioned in Sahih Muslim, one number one, hadith number one zero eight three. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that a person is closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sajda. And this is the time you should increase your supplication. So according to the Prophet, one of the best time to do dua is when you are in sajda. Now where is other hadith? The hadith mentioned in Sahih Muslim, one number two, hadith number 1324, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallam said, that when you're in the tashahud, towards the end of tashahud, tashahud, before you do the taslim, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save you from the punishment of hellfire, to save you from the punishment of the grave, to, to protect you from the trials and tribulation of this world, and to protect you from the fitna of the tajjar. And the same hadith and the same message is repeated in Say Muslim. Volume number two, hadith number 1812, in which the Prophet said that toward the end of tashahud, before taslim, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask him to save you from the punishment of the hellfire, from the punishment of the grave, and protect you from the fitna, the trials and tribulation of this world, and the fitna of the Dajjal. So basically, it is mustahab and recommended by the Prophet that you should do dua and supplication. Coming to the second part of the question, that can you do dua in sajda in the mother tongue in your own language? As far as the question is concerned, can you do dua in sajda in your own language, in non-Arabic? The opinions are divided. The fuqahs have different opinions. One opinion is that it is not permitted to do any dua except the duas which are prescribed, the zikr, etc. In the hadith in which the Prophet did, everything else is prohibited in the sajda. The second opinion is that you can do dua besides that, but it should be only in Arabic. And the third opinion is that you can do dua even which is not prescribed in the sunnah and you can do in any language if you don't know Arabic as a language. And the more correct and authentic opinion among these three is the last opinion that it is permitted for a Muslim to do dua in any language. If he doesn't know Arabic, he can do in any language the language he understands best and even those duas which are not prescribed in the hadith, he can do in his own language, the own thing what he wants in this world, if he can ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is permitted. Basically, as far as the opinions are concerned, as I said, there are three opinions. As far as doing dua in a non-Arabic language, one opinion is it is haram. And this opinion is more of the Maliki school of thought. The second opinion is that it is makru. This is mainly from the Hanafi school of thought that preferable in Arabic, but if you do any other language, it is makru. And the last opinion, it is permissible. Best is Arabic, but if you don't know Arabic as a language, it is permissible to do in your own language. This is mainly the humble opinion and even one of the views of the Shafi Madhab that it is permissible if you know Arabic, do it in, you can do dua in Arabic in your own language. But if you don't know Arabic, you can do it in your own mother tongue, even those which are not prescribed in the Hadith of the Quran. It is permissible. And this, according to me, is the most authentic and the correct opinion. And this was even said by Shaykh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. He said that if a person knows Arabic, he can do the duas, even those which are not prescribed in the sunnah, in his own language, whatever he wants, whether it be this world or whatever he wants, it's permitted. But if a person doesn't know Arabic and if he does the dua in his own language, it is permittable. It 
is permissible. Even when Sheikh Bin Baz was asked this question, that can a person do dua in his own mother tongue in non-Arabic, in the Salah, in Sajda, and, and Sheikh Bin Baz, he said yes. If a person is in Arabic, he can do dua in his own language, in his mother tongue, it's permissible. There are some scholars who say that you should avoid doing in the Fajr Salah, but can do in the Sunnah and the Nafil Salah. But the correct opinion is that you can do dua in your own language, if you don't understand Arabic as a language, and you can ask what you want in the Sajda, whether it be the Far Salah, or whether it be the Nafil or the Sunnah Salah, it is permissible. This is the more correct opinion of the ones that are available. Hope that answers the question.